Yo guys, how's it going? And welcome back to another video. We are only a few days away from the Chicago Bears playoff game against the New Orleans Saints. And the first injury report has officially came out. I'm joined by Zach, like always. Zach, how are you? I am doing good after looking at this, honestly. So one thing to point out, today's practice was a walkthrough and we won't get a, like an official injury report until Friday. But I want to look at this and kind of, you know, talk about who didn't practice and see where we're at in terms of the health of this team. So, Zach, the first thing that caught my eye, and I'm sure you're in the same boat, is that Jalen Johnson was limited, which is a very positive sign. Yeah. Um, I mean, one, first off, I don't know how you could be limited during a <laughs> walkthrough. But, <laughs> I mean, the fact that he's even, because even last week, it was always yeah. DNP did not practice no matter what. So the fact that he's even on there as like limited or like full or whatever it is, the fact that he's on there and it's not DNP is actually very, very happy for. Like, yeah, I, again, it. guys, we need, you know, Emmanuel Sanders. We're, we're going to, I like Duke Shelley, but we need Jalen Johnson. The other thing that I want to talk about is the fact that there's still not a ton of news on Roquan Smith. There's reports of it being the elbow, but not them not placing Roquan on the IR does give me a little bit of hope. I'm not sure if he's going to play this week. I really, really, he's the one, him and Buster Screen. I, we talked about this earlier, but you know, when you have a concussion, you see players either come back right away or you see concussions, you know, ending their season, Taylor Gabriel last year. I, I just, I don't see Screen playing as well as, you know, I, I want to believe that Roquan's going to play, but after what we saw last year with the elbow injuries with the Bears, it's I don't know Zach I'm I'm not I'm not optimistic. First off, Roquan and uh, Chicago Bears. If you guys hear me, you guys could take my elbow. I know. Get, take my um, elbow too, please, Roquan. Like I don't know. I feel like Roquan. He's one tough son of a gun. Oh, he totally I mean, is. Yeah. Who knows? I mean, because Hicks wanted to play with his elbow yeah. injury as well. So I mean, maybe Roquan has that same thing where he wants to go and actually try it out, like see how he is and stuff with a brace. And everything but um, if you're not 100 percent sure and you're you're not sure rokon please don't rush anything yeah. honestly i don't want to see anything long term happen to him yeah rokon can't seem to catch a break last year it was the peck against the cowboys you know of course the elbow injuries but as it's believed they still have not said anything about it i'm a little bit more optimistic with mooney i think it's you know like they said they listed as an ankle but honestly on that play where mooney got hurt it looked like i thought he had a concussion at first but with the way he was hit out of bounds i just worry you know in terms of an ankle and mooney being a speed guy that, that that doesn't you know that scares me a bit and then cordale patterson was listed as personal um so i mean i'm not too worried oh, about yeah. that i'm glad to um, see that he doesn't have the knee because i know he was dealing with the knee injury so i'm yeah. glad to see that's not on there and then everybody else seems to be full it's this the story of the bear season their injury report has been ridiculously long and every week it seems to only grow uh, but you know, hopefully, Cleo. They have Cleo's been on the injury report since freaking week one. I know he, Alan, he's had good. an ankle, yeah, he's he, had a knee, he's, he's had a shoulder, he's everything. had an arm, he's like everything back, whatever. Like he's had everything on there. So we'll see, guys. When more news does come out, which is going to be Friday, when an official report, and we should know exactly who's going to play and who's not. Then uh, we will keep you guys posted. Please make sure you guys do drop a like. Please make sure you guys do drop a subscription. Check out Zach. He will be linked down below. And until next time, we'll talk to you guys soon. Peace.